Hi everyone and welcome along. I'm so excited about this one today. Uh, we're going to paint some watercolour cupcakes. How delicious. So grab your paints and let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create the basic cupcake shape with two angled lines, a curve on the bottom and then just a, a sort of vague sense of where the cake holder and the icing and we're going to have a cherry on top of this one so you can see I'm, I'm doing really really basic um, shapes because what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this actually in quite a loose style we'll do two so I'm going to do one with a cherry and then I'm going to do a birthday cupcake because I know that uh, a lot of you would be very keen to paint one of these for a birthday cake. So we'll put a put a candle in in one of them. Okay, but that's all we're going to begin with because what I want to do is I want to look at how we can paint this in a really cool kind of loose style. Now, red velvet is my favourite absolute favourite kind of cake. So I'm going to paint one in that style first off. So I'm just mixing up some colours that I'm going to need. I've got burnt sienna here. Get that woken up. I've got moon glow which I think is going to be a really surprisingly useful colour. I did wake up alizar and crimson. I'm just going to put the moon glow and alizar and crimson together there. I think they're going to be good. And a bit of cadmium red. And yeah, let's, let's see how we go. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to create the, the cake sitting on the top of the, the cupcake holder so which will in, in turn give me the top of the cupcake case and then I'm going to clean my brush off and I'm going to draw that colour up knowing that we're only going to see a little bit of the cake because of course we've got icing on top of it and I'm going to drop in some darkness with that moon glow alizar and crimson mix there and then i'm going to take that color and i'm going to start to sort of create the base of the cupcake shape by sort of painting in the sort of divots in the cake holder case. So you can see it really is quite a loose style of painting but I think it looks quite cool and then I'm just going to take some more moon glow, a little bit of Payne's grey there and just send that up and in, in building that negative space there the negative space being the unpainted space means that we, when we take our pencil away, we've got a lovely cupcake shape. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm now going to dilute down these colours. I really love these colours. I think they're really fun um, to create the cream cheese icing or frosting, whatever you like to call it. And I want to use a largish brush. I've got a size six brush here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to use the sort of large 
sweeping brush to create the icing swirls. So you can see I'm making sure I sort of leave some unpainted space, but then I will just get a little bit of darker color, bring it in. And then we've got our cherry on the top, which is going to be perfectly done in Alizara and Crimson. So the idea is that this cherry will bleed a tiny bit down into the cupcake icing, but not too much. So I'm just going to be a bit careful. Just let it hover on top for the moment whilst I just build it up slowly. And I think I'll just take a little bit of Moon Glow, give it a little bit of darkness there, and there we go. And then just to finish it off, I'm just going to create a little bit of sort of shadow just around the base, just to give it a little bit of extra and I just feel, feel like a little splatter would be rather nice and maybe a few sprinkles on top. There we go. So that is going to be a lovely sort of loose watercolour cupcake that when we rub out the pencil that's going to look super duper cool. So the next one I'm going to do, I'm just going to change my water and clean my palette and we'll do a birthday cupcake. Right, this time we're going to do a vanilla cupcake. So I've got uh, yellow ochre here, but I will also just mix up a bit of a shady tone. So I've got burnt sienna, I get a bit of moon glow in there. And I'm going to send a bit of yellow ochre over this side as well, so I can just include it in the slightly shadowy tones. And with my size zero brush, once again, I'm going to begin by placing in the, the cake. I think this is a really good spot to begin with because it just allows you to sort of establish the the bottom, the top, and also I just think it looks kind of cool. Okay. And now I'm going to again use my size zero brush to come up the cake with The, uh, the little grooves in the cupcake case. These would be like, yeah, fun little cards, I think. Okay, and then just bring in a little bit more shade, loose watercolorness. Like my technical term. And I'll take a bit of Payne's grey and maybe just pop in just a little bit of shadow just to just to get that in. If you're a bit scared of shadow, just I think the first thing to think about is is not to worry about it like closely resembling the thing you're painting. Do not do not fret about that. Now we're going to do 
a nice sort of creamy buttercream icing and then I'm going to do sprinkles on top of it. So I think uh, buff titanium is going to be really good for this and I also think maybe should we get some opera rose in there as well? Let's just get, yeah, let's do a nice little pink tinged buttercream. So I've got my size four brush and so the trick with it is to imagine the swirl, but to let the unpainted space do all the work for you. Okay, so I'm just sort of creating twists of lovelier icing coming round and I think I will just get a tiny bit of slightly stronger opera rose and just get in there lovely but the thing is there's always a bit of darkness to be found so I'm just going to take just a little bit of this shadowy colour I think that helps right now for the candle I thought maybe some like turquoise might be really fun um, and also a bit of cadmium yellow as well so just uh, cadmium yellow is a really thick strong color so <laughs> it takes a while to get it all off the brush right okay So going nice and sort of light and loose again, I'm going to just, that's really, oh, I'm really pleased with that, how that's sort of squashed down. I'm using the brush, sort of twisting it and downwards there to create a, a sort of spiral tone on it. And then just at the top there. And then I will get some cadmium yellow on my four tenths brush, nice and thin, and I will just to pop in that like that. Now that looks really nice, but what we can do just to give it a little bit more extra is just some slightly more concentrated color. And you can see how just by adding that in, it is a loose thing, it's it's clearly a stylized painting, but it's just made it that little bit more 3D, hasn't it? And then for the candle flame itself, a little bit of cadmium orange as well as cadmium yellow, and I'm just going to squash the brush down, and there we go, and we'll just leave it a moment to settle in a little bit before we put the wick on. But what I am going to do now is I am going to paint some sp sp sort of sprinkly splatters onto the icing. So I think I'll begin, start safely with a bit of opera rose. So I've got a large brush, I've got a size six. And that's rather lovely. And to be honest, I feel like that's probably all I want to do with that one. I might just put a few more sprinkles on. There we go, lovely. So here's a little wick. And there we have two really lovely loose watercolor cupcakes. But what we're gonna do is we're going to just let the, well, we've said we've, we'll let the, the paint dry and then place in, we'll, we'll rub out the pencil. But what I want to do is I just want to create a little bit of a, a bit of a shadow just up the side there. Get it in the pink. You might be like, what are you doing? But trust me, I just want a, just a little bit of more context on the cupcake uh, and It's just sometimes fun to just add in a little bit extra. 
so that when it dries and you rub it out, you get an even crisper sense of the loose painting, especially if there are bits of unpainted space in it. Okay, so we'll wait for it to dry and rub out the pencil. And you can see the difference once you've rubbed out the pencil of just these lovely, light, fluffy cupcakes sitting on the page. So I hope that has been a useful card making idea for you for a birthday card or just something really fun to paint and practice. There'd be so many variations you could come up with. So yeah, until next time, bye. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope that helps with some birthday card making inspiration. I want to say a huge thank you to our patrons for their support because that support enables us to keep creating videos like these that everyone can enjoy. And if you enjoyed it, then hit the like button and comment below to let me know how you got on with that one. And of course, if you never want to miss another video, then hit the subscribe button and that little notification bell and we will see you again next time. Bye.